Hey everyone, how's it going? Today for you guys, I have a boxy charm to show you all. This is the August boxy charm, and I do apologize if I'm a little bit rusty in this video. I haven't filmed in like three weeks, I think. <laughs> it's been a long time. Whenever you come back, it's I know everybody says this, but it is really hard to try to get back into the whole like talking to camera thing once you've been out of it for so long. But as you guys may have known, if you follow me on my Instagram, I did get married recently, which is really exciting. And uh, yeah, we're kind of still in the midst of doing all the unpacking and kind of just figuring everything else out. And so that kind of is my reasoning for my absence and my kind of lack of uploads and just kind of few uploads here and there. Uh, I just haven't had the time to sit and film and even this week, I feel like I need to do a million other things, but I really want to get a video for you guys, and I missed last month's Boxy Charm. I thought about doing a video, but by the time it was like the middle of August, I was like, nobody wants to see July's Boxy Charm. You guys want to see August Boxy Charm. So uh, let's get right on into it. So the theme of this box is called Gorgeous Globetrotter. Globetrotter. <laughs> it's called Gorgeous Globetrotter. And so uh, I guess it's just sort of like a traveling kind of box is the idea. So let's just jump right into it. You guys know that typically with my unboxing videos, I like to try the products before I come in here and start to talk about them. There are two products out of this box that I have not tried. I just really, first of all, one of them haven't really felt the need to try it. And then the second one, um, I don't know. Maybe I just keep on forgetting about it. I've swapped. It. I've been a little bit weird about putting it on my skin. I'll show you that later. But anyway, let's start with the products that I have tried. So the first one here, this is a brush, and this is the uh, Ceta, spelled S-E-T-A, eyeliner brush, full size, retails for $16. Um, basically what this is, is it is just a fine tipped eyeliner brush. It's kind of like, you know, the ones that I use a lot that have the angle like this. This is my Sonia Kashuk one that's a bent kind of version. This is just, woo, as I almost dropped the box. This is just the regular long fine tipped version. Kind of looks like a like an artist brush of some sort. But anyway, so uh, I don't actually have a brush like this. All of the ones that I have have the bent kind of look to them just because I find that to be a little bit easier to really get in there, especially in the inner corner than this, which sometimes I feel like the ferrule of the brush tends to get in the way. But I must say that I do really enjoy this brush. Um, I've never really tried anything like this. Like I said, I've always kind of been more into the whole bent design. So giving something like this a try has been really, really nice. I don't really have anything to compare it to. The bristles are a good length. I will continue to use this and I will continue to really like it because it is a very, very nice brush. And so leading that up, the next product I have for you guys, this is the Mica Beauty Gel Eyeliner. Again, full size, retails for $35. Um, basically just claims to be a quick dry, smudge proof liner. So it's cool that you get the liner brush and then an actual eyeliner to, to try along with it. This is in the shade Black. Um, very, very basic jar kind of packaging. A little bit bulky when you consider how much, you know, if you can see here what the actual pot size is in you know, retrospect to the entire jar packaging. I feel like that's something that e.l.f. does a lot that I really don't like. I like things that are very consolidated. This is a very, very nice gel eyeliner. I really like it. It is so thin, kind of inconsistency, if that makes sense. It's got a very, very kind of interesting texture. When I think of some cream and gel eyeliners, uh, you know, for example, the Maybelline one or my L'Oreal Lilac one that I really like, those have a much thicker, much creamier texture. This is a true gel where when you apply it, I almost felt like I was putting on a liquid because it was just so smooth and so even. Very, very black, very intense. I noticed slight fading throughout the day as compared to some of my other ones that I've tried. Recently, I've also been trying the Inglot one that everybody likes. And comparatively, this one, if I do like a wing, just towards the very outer tip of the wing, I do notice a little bit of uh, fading. But um, all in all, I really, really enjoy it. What I personally pay $35 for it. I don't think I'd go out of my way ever to pay $35 for a gel eyeliner when there's ones that for that are, you know, like $7, even ones that are like 3 bucks at the drugstore. But getting it in the box I think is awesome because I really do enjoy this and I will continue to use it and really like it because it is a great product. And then finally on the list of products that I've tried, this here is the Coastal Sense Revealed 3 palette. It says it retails for $40, but it's now on sale for $20. It's been on sale for $20 for a very, very long time. But uh, regardless, uh, we got another reveal palette. So well, I think two or three months ago, um, BoxyCharm sent out the reveal two. And so this is the reveal three. And at first I was kind of confused because let me pull out the reveal two. 
in my mind, when I opened this up, I thought, okay, this is like the Naked 3 palette. This really reminded me of that. This didn't really remind me so much of the Naked 2 palette. Even though I do see a few similarities, overall, the packaging, everything is very pink. It's very rose-toned. So when I opened up this, I was kind of confused as to what theme this was going for as well because this has a very, very similar color scheme going on to it. Um, I think I read the card here, and let's see. It uh, claims to create, it, it says 20 all new elegant eyeshadows, great for day or evening looks. I see these tones comparatively being a bit deeper, a bit darker. Let me pull out the other palette so you guys can see side by side what we're looking at. So here is reveal three, here is reveal two. I mean, they are very, very similar palettes. And, I mean, now even looking at them a little bit more, I would say in Reveal 3, you get a couple more brown tones. Um, quite a bit of purple tones still going on. Uh, there's a lot of similarities between these, to be honest. A diff some different finishes, but when you look at them side by side, I mean, there's just not a whole lot of difference. I think that in the Reveal 3, you get a little bit more of some deeper purples, a um, couple more matte shades, but that's about it. So... Overall, I would say that with this, just because I wasn't a huge fan of the re of the Revealed 2, I'm just not a big fan of Coastal Scents eyeshadows as much as I used to be. Same with like BH Cosmetics, Morphe, all of those brands. I just feel like they really, really dry out my eyelids, and I don't know if I just am particularly sensitive to that or what it is, but I really have that problem with these types of eyeshadows. I have the same problem with this. The shadows are nice. The pigmentation is hit and miss. Um, I would say that staying power is kind of lacking. Blendability, again, hit or miss. Um, these just aren't palettes that honestly I'm going to get a whole lot of use out of. They're probably palettes that I'll pass on to my little sisters who I think will enjoy the variety and you know for them the quality will be just fine. But for me I mean blendability, staying power, and just the overall consistency and the formulation of the eyeshadows to myself is so important because like I said these shadows can dry out my lids like crazy. Um, I guess my only, my and my other gripe is I just feel like they're so similar and I know that part of that is more coastal sense than it is is BoxyCharm, um, but anyway, I, I don't know. Um, I, I think that I know some people really, really like these, so I'm glad that they did send them out again because if you don't have a lot of eyeshadows, these are nice because you get a lot of variety here. Uh, just as a personal preference, I'm kind of in the middle with them. Now moving on to the two products I didn't try, so I just kind of had to show you. The first one here, this is the Neos Shield Leave-In Conditioner. Full size, retails for $26. This claims to be a year-round color and texture protection with light, natural hold, and SPF 15. Vitamin E and B5, hydrate and nourish, built-in sunscreen, protects hair color, and scalp sunburn. Also contains Moroccan argan oil to give a shine and glow. Um, it's supposed to be just all multiple benefits fits and products in one, but I think that the main things that it looks like they advertise here in the bottle is the frizz control, sunburn shield, hair color, and texture protection. So this is kind of cool because it comes in like a pump kind of form. So I really like the packaging. I like the blue. I kind of like the pump. I think it looks really nice. This would have been such an awesome product to have when Bryce and I are in Vegas. I so badly wish I had this because I think that the S I think that the SPF 15 is great for the summertime. I cannot tell you how many times I've wanted to purchase or try some sort of a hair sunscreen just because I really do feel like sun fades out hair color or at least you know like fake artificial hair color so quickly and if you have ever gotten you know like a sunburn right around here on your part it burns and it hurts and it's so painful I mean it's such a sensitive part of your body to get burned and so I really wish that I would have had this earlier um, I think that if BoxyCharm was sent something like this out like in June towards the beginning of the summer I would have been much happier just because um, as you know where I'm living as we're getting towards the end of August the sun's going to go away here in like no time so I don't think they'll get much use out of this just because day to day I don't know how much I really want to be putting sunscreen in my hair um also the only thing that kind of worries me is the light hold thing I don't know I'm kind of really weird about textured products that have hold in my hair I know to some people that's that's probably a good thing but I personally don't like I don't put in hairspray I never wear hairspray I don't ever do anything because I like the natural very soft kind of feel to my hair um but you know this weekend Bryce and I might be going out to a hike so I might actually try this and then if I end up liking it of course I'll report back at the end of the month or sometime in September so I'm excited to give it a go don't get me wrong I'm very very excited about this um and I hope that it'll work well 
And then very finally here, this is the So Susan Statement Skin Full Size, retails for $20. This is a uh, highlighting crayon. I think that's about the gist of it. So let me open it up here for you guys. This comes in a very kind of chubby stick looking packaging and this is what the actual product looks like. So it is a cream highlighter. It's very, very light and I'm just scared that on my skin it might turn out to look too much like sparkle and not like an actual glowy, glow from within kind of look. I'm thinking about maybe trying to layer it under foundation and seeing if that kind of will take rid some of the sparkle but just kind of still give me the glow. I really do need to play with this more. I will give this a try at some point. I just haven't gone there yet but I am excited so yeah that is that and that is the end of this box overall I really like the eyeliner I really liked that eyeliner brush I'm actually really excited because I like products I really like getting brushes and boxes especially ones that are good because you can use them like all the time with so many different products and I really like that I'm super excited to try that hair product the eyeshadow palette I'm kind of meh with but I know some people will really enjoy that and uh, overall I do think it was a good box it hasn't been my favorite box but it was a really it was a really good one uh, and as always in this video and I kind of feel stupid that I even have to give this this disclaimer but sometimes when I'm being honest about a product for example like the coastal sense palettes because I got this in my last video that I did with the Revealed 2 palette. Some people think that I'm not being thankful when I say negative things towards a product and it's not me being ungrateful at all. I am 100% grateful to BoxyCharm for letting me get this box every month because they're always really good and there's always something about each box that I really like but that being said there's usually something about each box that I don't like and it's me trying to be truthful to you guys my viewers so that if you guys with your own money go out and purchase this you know what you're getting and that's just sort of my philosophy here on my channel. I want to be 100% truthful and honest, not ungrateful and not bitchy, but just you know, let you guys know with your hard-earned money what exactly you're paying for. And if you're similar to me, have similar experiences or a similar skin type or hair coloring, whatever, skin tone, I want you to know, uh, you know, how that's going to work for you. So that's why I do this and uh, I hope that you guys respect that and I hope that you guys understand that and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for your patience over the past couple of weeks as I've been gone. I really appreciate it and it does feel so good to be back filming. I'm excited to edit this video and get it up for you guys so that we can try to get back on some sort of a normal filming uploading schedule because it's been a little bit cray cray recently. But as always, I love you guys and I will talk to you all next time. Bye bye.